Wana, Luis Bongoya, what happened to Honorable Chagulani? Yeah, of course, uh, uh, our president Honorable Chagulani was attacked the other day, as, uh, as, as you saw. He had just gone for a private visit at uh, the home of uh, one of our lawyers, George Musisi, and uh, as we were leaving, the police charged at them. You saw the videos. Uh, really unprovoked, they charged at them started uh, firing tear gas uh live bullets in the air uh, other projectiles and uh eventually uh, you know something uh, which you know we later on uh think was uh, a canister hit his leg and uh, caused him that uh, injury that uh, you saw but this is just not a tear gas canister it's important to understand that uh many of our people have gotten terrible terrible problems including a lady in uh, a leg called Zubeda who lost her leg as a result of this Dan Magic up to now is uh, in the UK trying to get uh, corrective surgery because he lost his teeth uh, his jaw was affected because they aimed at him with this uh, kind of thing and many other people uh, you saw yesterday were showing a young man at Makere called Sebuganda Richard who was also you know they they, they left this canister in his room and when he returned to Lumumba Hall it actually uh, you know exploded and cut off his uh, hand his right hand so it's a very very serious uh, weapon uh, for lack of a better word that can actually cause so much damage and uh, you saw some of the pictures these are people who are aiming they are, because if the intention is really to, to you know disperse these people why don't you you know shoot in the air and, and and it will come down and have the impact you want to have but you're aiming these uh, projectiles at at people simply because they are putting on uh, red overalls they are nup and and, and you, you can see the partisanship with which uh, the police operates in this country of course what was uh, sad is uh, but not surprising is uh, how the police responded to this whole thing you had the police spokesperson immediately Say that uh ah, honorable chagrin stumbled and, and 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 that and got that injury i mean good enough we still have a, a doctor here i mean i'm sure I, any person if you don't even need to be a medic to see the kind of injury he got on his leg and then someone says he stumbled and injured himself but this is what they've been doing many times when honorable zake uh, they tortured him very badly and he came out a minister went to parliament and said you know what he, he beat his ear and cause this uh, damage himself. You can imagine as ridiculous as that. Of course, the Arua incident where they claimed uh, the Honorable Chagulani had guns in, in his room, which later on disappeared. So it's unfortunate that the new police spokesperson has just taken over from Enanga, where he, he, he had stopped with lying. And we, we are very glad that uh, ordinary citizens were very vigilant and recorded some of these things. Our media team hadn't captured them. And so eventually they came out. But you can be sure that if there was no video, they wouldn't have come out to clarify. They would have stuck with that narrative that he stumbled and injured himself. So the following day when they saw other videos coming, then they started changing their statements. But uh, it's important to know that all this is part of the, of the impunity. I mean, they say you cannot do these political activities. Even when, for example, they claim that we're having a procession. But the videos which came out clearly showed that there was no procession. Uh, it was in a, in a, in just in a, a road without even many people. There were just a few comrades gathered there, and the police started charging at them as if these are uh, these were terrorists or something like that. The, the way they were approaching them, so we condemn that in the strongest terms possible. Uh, our president is getting better, and when he's fully back on his feet. We believe he'll be mm. back on the on the train. We we are still we still want to do our nationwide tour, which the police blocked yeah. illegally recently. And and what do you say to the naysayers that have produced all these jokes and whatever, and uh, comparing with President Trump and saying maybe the ear and, and so on? Is, well, is, that's is expected. Comedy. We, and, um, we live and, in a society where all that is expected. But what I can say is that to those people, especially, is that. You know, uh, like the, 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 the old saying goes, it would be foolhardy for a monkey to laugh at a burning forest. When all these things happen to one of us, we need to take time and reflect. You know, with this, uh, one of the positive things in my view that came out of this march against corruption 
we are seeing many more people actually get to understand the kind of state we live in. Because some people, they say, oh, this is about NUP, this is about FDC. Those people are, are crybabies until it happens to them. So we've seen when we started talking about abduction, they dismissed it. And then they started coming for these very people, the academics, who are, you hear that, uh, of course, the religious leaders and others. So when there's a violence against any person in this country, we must all condemn it because tomorrow it will be you. Mm -hmm. So you can't just downplay such an incident. Uh, we thank God because it could have go, uh, it would, could have been worse. Like I told you, a lady called Zubeda no longer has a leg because they charged, uh, you know, a canister at her. They, they, they shot her in that manner and she no longer has a leg. And many other of our comrades who have gone through these incidents. So it could have been worse, but we are glad that uh, mm. he'll be back on his feet very soon. Yeah. Honorable Semuju, there's another saying that uh, when you go to opposition politics, this is power of the course. Uh, just get ready to be clobbered, to be tear gas, to be, and then to jeer at you and and uh, to, to concoct stories. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Inanga is so relieved that he no longer has to In make 20, statements. 2017, mm. when uh, SFC raided Parliament, um, we are bundled in the same van with one of the Chagulani, Tonagarama. Mm. We had just gone through an election, by election that brought him to Parliament. In the areas of Mukono Nawawe, of course, when you are in those situations, you begin cracking jokes. They keep you going. Mm. He said, I told the people in the campaign, because the Chagulani, I didn't know they would be like this. <laughs> 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 that, that, that they will clobber him. No, his song during the yeah. campaign was because the yeah. He said, I didn't know things were because that day we nearly got killed in parliament. Mm. I saw one sheikh in the evening on the news. He said, the MPs jumping on the table. They were poorly brought up. For him, that's what he saw. <laughs> so the, the military invading parliament. Maybe was not wrong. <laughs> the, the, the military invading parliament and beating people was not his concern the concern of the country should be that uh, an opposition leader an opposition leader of Chagulani's profile can be attacked the extent of the injury does not matter for me it's not even a matter of a discussion but you are still in a country where one seven will use the state to curtail but also to threaten life because why why would you attack someone going home I remember during walk to work, they escorted the, um, that time it was a UPC president, uh, Professor Otun. And he went up to his office. Mm. But the rest of us uh, had been charged with, the, with terrorism. They found me walking in a, in a band. So the response of the state to competition is what should worry. And for me, that's what should be the discussion. Um, and of course for them my experience with the police and the military in situation like this when there are no cameras you know you are in trouble and the first thing they do is to deal with the journalists last time when we were arrested here taking a, a petition to the Kenyan embassy they beat up a journalist from um, from from Terrifina smashed his camera because they don't want to be filmed when they are doing these stupid things and they know what they are doing first of all the law doesn't protect them so they will first deal with the cameras and from our experience in the past when you see them beating journalists then you know you are in trouble because wha once the cameras are not there you are finished you will see policemen kicking someone as if he has committed i remember when they were driving us to nagarama or odongo told these policemen who went abusing us insulting us in the car he said, you guys, we have committed no crime against you as individuals. These are Uganda's problems that we need to collectively solve. So you can't go abusing us. Uh, they had locked, we couldn't breathe. They were hitting one portal after another. They said, you guys, you're in parliament uh, enjoying AC. Today you will see until when you are dumped there. So the incident, uh, um, certainly police will try to explain how they will say it didn't happen. I remember when they nearly killed Dr. West Jarao in Morocco. They said he's the one who had come with a hammer. But here everybody saw police with a hammer smashing his because they wanted to remove him. But in the evening it was now a who, who came with a hammer. Until when the video was brought of a police officer walking from another car with a hammer. 
So they will lie, they will, they will, they will blame you. So the victim will be blamed for, for what he has gone through. <laughs> Mm. And for me, the bigger thing is that uh, this points the nature of the election that we are both subject ourselves to. I think seven, th this month, officially, and I'm saying the word officially because he says he doesn't know when he was born, his children assigned him a birthday, but that assigned birthday falls on September something, so he will be 80. So he becomes weaker every day. One of dealing with the opposition and the competition when you are weaker, you can no longer go around the country. It stops everybody. So that the country looks like there is no competition. And I know it's going to be more brutal. His son, who now commands the army, he was partly in charge of the crackdown on, 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 on opposition when Donald Buchagwan got arrested in, in 2020 uh, in Ruuk. His son and the little cage, they were the ones the, who were picking people, beating them, torturing them. I think now he has come of age. So the, this is fact? It is a fact. Hmm. That's why Museven later came and said some of these people we have them here. Yet the law says you, you can only be arrested by police. You see Museven is very interesting. On TV he said you police may not even be supposed to bark at people. You are supposed to because before you arrest someone you must tell him why you are arresting that hmm. person. You introduce yourself. He said all these things must happen. Then the same Museven is on TV saying some of these people we have here and they are very good people. People had disappeared. Nobody knew where they were. They were not at any police station. But they were with him seven. I don't know where. So we've moved into that season where things uh, are going to get worse and worse. Not because they were okay before, but you are now dealing with an aged man, uh, eight year, uh, officially eight years old, who wants to die in office like his uh, comrade uh, Mugabe. He has uh, elevated his <laughs> son to Mugabe. command the institute. Mugabe had left office. No, no he was mm. removed. He didn't mm. leave. Mm. But he had wanted to die there. So he would uh, become more brutal. People should brace uh, themselves. Just just before we go to Lydia, uh, Louis Rubongo, yeah, there, there was another video I saw yesterday of, of police kicking and punching. and it, it, Was that a fake? Was that, was that a criminal? No, I mean, that's exactly what happened. And, and that's what I was well, trying well, to tell you that... Uh, that mm. was at that place in Bulindo. Oh. That was exactly at that spot. And that's why I was saying they were charging at this. So this is another video that, so these videos keep coming out. Yeah, because uh, the people are vigilant. I mm. mean, where they see these hap things happening and we've been encouraging them to do that. People started recording. That's why. But those uh, men were beaten thoroughly. Yeah. Mm. And they, some of them are still in hospital. Mm. One of them came out. Where were the policemen so annoyed? I mean, you ask yourself, and this is again, mm. like I said, this is a, the challenge we have in this country that once they see in a red beret, uh, the, the police has been trained to view the opposition as enemies of the state, as enemies to themselves, even when they actually don't realize that what you are doing is try to improve lives for them uh, and everyone else in this country. So, and their commanders, you know, sometimes these uh, low ranking police officers are not the problem. You had in, the, in one of the clips, one commander saying shoot him and, and so if the commanders view themselves as under threat if uh, uh president chagulani is able to mobilize then what do you expect mm. yeah Lydia, for 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 us in schools we are not allowed to beat anyone but don't you beat them no <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, we don't beat them uh, you don't beat your clients but <laughs> seriously speaking schools no longer beat they do, but not, not as bad uh, as it used to be. Very rare. They, they don't beat. Lydia on microphone. Mm. How, if, if police has to handle a situation, why must they be violent in that manner? Well, that's how you get promoted. Um, first of all, I want to, to say Paul Esana to Chagulani because he got a... I saw there was... Uh, the picture I showed there was a wound on, uh, on like, his mm. leg. That, that's unfortunate. He had gone to a, a some function at a at a family a friend of his at his friend's home. I don't know how they ended up having people a scaffold. Mm. If you've gone to somebody's home, most, most of these homes are in, gated inside there. If you're leaving, so I've not home, understood mm. the story around there, around the visiting a private home. Then there is a shootout. Mm. But um, when police says procession and the procession is kind of mysterious. What I would like, but how did the police know? Anyway, that's oh. for me to ask. That that you've gone to somebody's private home, 
all of us visit private homes these days for to check on the sick uh, birthday consultations to we visit you know, when i still wrote no articles visits, uh, follows I, I, I used to write uh, an article in observer when someone was uh -huh. even there and at the time it was dr wcg and and these days our police at home is very very good we just call and uh, but in those days i i put put can you put a red alert uh, you put basically on blue uh, alert and whatever uh, so when you want to call police you just say blue alert here and and in that time if you said blue alert they would come straight away but if you so said anyway, there's a thief I'm sorry here. about what happened <laughs> I'm sorry about mm. what happened and um, Louis please tell uh, the principal it's called the principal mm. that uh, Lydia sends her regards and she says sorry about the wound but I would like to encourage that conversation to go on have a good because you 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 police is a government institution you will not avoid them mm. they also not avoid you because you're also doing your civic and uh, human rights to to participate so find a way i don't think the whole police there are, are issues of the official but also the personalities so i don't encourage you to not to give uh, up yeah, find yeah, yeah. A, a working relationship with them i like the way you said it so thing. for example you here who is yes. a lawyer mm. secretary general could write to that particular policeman and say i want to have an engagement with you to avoid Please the future what was engaging. in your mind uh, eh? and uh, would Lewis, you i know that some of the things that uh, they do are annoying but please suspend anger politics try to find a way of suspending anger just do your thing and yeah, finally yeah. you'll you'll make suspend friends anger. So you give away day, his the day this lady went you to give away mattress to the prison yeah uh, he suspended anger you suspend no, no, anger no, no, and, and and behave no, like because you, you there's something no, 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 you want mm. let the police respect I engage the, the law. police let the, the police respect that, the tell law. them that and insist on it and i think you'll make your way but uh, what i wanted to say on yeah. this one is that the her lordship uh maria Mwangadia, i saw her on tv saying you have refused to talk to to her office but that office is not a Wangadia. Which is it's not the Human Rights so. Commission. It's not true. So, so um, you listen to me. These, these mm -hmm. agencies of government, they may not have the faces of the, the people you like, but you, you can, uh, if you want to have your way and your agenda, make your case. D don't, don't run away from them. Don't, mm -hmm. don't get angry with them. Mm -hmm. Engage them until you get your way through. Because the one of Human Rights Commission, I do not see how you're going to do your work by putting uh, them uh, off, yeah, your radar, so off your radar off your radar i mean in addition to an institution of hold government. on uh, louis yeah. first first let me squeeze so, uh, in that, professor you, you asked me, yeah? me yes. so i'm trying to you, say you, that you, that's I, my opinion please I think engage you, whether they so follow that, the advice whether they like to good. Good. Mm. but please engage human yeah. rights commission yeah. engage the police engage the other yeah. dc you you have said it let me ask yeah. professor asim a different kind of question uh <laughs> frank asim the the Semuju here says that the political season is is coming on and i i, I want to ask you a, a reasonable question you know in the old days we would invite dr buku here and and we never knew whether we invited him as president of a medical association or or as a member of fdc or an activist so we just invite him in but for you now now active in, in the medical uh, association and also teaching young people how do you prepare for election season are you looking at wounds are you looking at emergency treatment are you <laughs> how, in your system what's your preparation like uh, thank you very much first of all I'm a, a law-abiding civil servant mm. and the subject being discussed is above my pay grade and, and that's why i've yes. changed the question yes. for you thank you mm. now for us fortunately i worked in a war zone i worked in kasese during the adf actually mm. the adf war started three days after i reported for my internship wow november 11th uh, 1996 it was um in mulago when there are demonstrations or the things that usually cause excitement and i like it to generate um casualties mm. we do prepare you do yes we do mm. uh, we alert the emergency team we tell them to free beds because often you have got casualties wow. uh, and for us when you come in we don't ask who you are what color you put on whether you are part of enforcement or otherwise we treat you as a patient mm. and and that's where we stop and we leave our our thoughts and our affiliations at the gate Mm. and when we are there we are we are very neutral i was uh, fortunate so to speak to treat a rebel in kagando hospital 
this man had been notorious for laying landmines. Uh, but he had also suffered from his own landmines. One had blown up, blown off his arm. He had one arm. One had blown off his leg. This time they brought him, his leg had been blown off. Mm. But of course, as professionals, he had even been brought by the UPDF. And we treated him and he improved and we discharged him. So we are very neutral. But yes, sadly, when there are scaffolds in town, we prepare for an influx. Yeah. And that that and, and in, in, in a in a five year course you are teaching students these kinds of fractures and so on and emergency. I can imagine a doctor in Gaza right now. Yeah, uh, war medicine. Yeah. How to to triage? There's a name for it, war medicine. Yeah, there's war medicine, war surgery. Yes. Mm. Uh, gunshot wounds, bomb blasts, uh, shrapnels, research station, and all those. Mm. Yeah, we do we do teach them. Mm. The, the, Yes. See, India advises the wrong way that uh, you need to speak to policemen. You see, the assumption is that actually, mm -hmm. and the, the assumption is they, that they, they uh, even when do you think this time they they did it because I saw their press conference where they even they have a picture of a policeman and they say this policeman did this then they present a video. Is this going to be the future? You no. Know, sometimes when they embarrassed, they will try to put up a. a uh, a PR stand mm. because the trouble is not these policemen at a, a on the road. Police. Yeah, they are not. Once they are ordered by their superiors, I, I have kept saying this even to my constituents. The day policemen tear gas their own wives, Oscar, <laughs> <laughs> because the wives you are complaining, they were beating the, suspense, the, the, making yes, in they, had, they had disconnected electricity and water, and their husbands fired tear gas at them. You cannot blame them for working like robots, but these, the orders to beat are not their orders. In fact, if they don't beat, they will be in trouble. Mm. When I was arrested here two weeks ago, the ordinary policemen who were uh, arresting me didn't misbehave. But the one from uh, somebody from uh, who is supposed to be their supervisor, for him when he came, he wanted to beat. The ordinary policemen are arresting you like they should mm. if, if they have been ordered. But him, another one called Kuzara, incidentally now is my, my, my DPC in Chira. His supervisor who later got into trouble with the police, Siraji Wakareke, when they arrested me from my home, said, why are you handling him like a bridegroom? Be physical, don't just handle him like that. So the mentality of some of the supervisors it is to... Is to misbehave another this, many of them that's how they get promoted if they, they hear that they were kicking you one time one room when they told me um that uh, you guys think when they are rolling you in the mud that um seven gets concerned he actually loves it <laughs> that he will be there laughing when he's seeing messenger being rolled in the mud and he so the, the people who do that he will love them they will even get promoted mm. so the ordinary policemen where you are sending us, they are not the right address. The person ordering them to beat people and torture them and shoot them dead is the right address. Is the right address, Mr. Seven in the interview. Mm. Mm. Lydia, 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 conclusion. Um, yeah, I, we are I'm out asking Semuju, mm. and I'm advising Louis here that uh, it, they should not give up, they should mm. continue engaging so that uh, like you've said the public was very supportive at the end of the day we endear ourselves to the people wow. so if you keep away how will people get to know whether you are getting a fair service from the institution or not mm. that's the point i'm trying to make okay yeah. the and, and the issue of anger yes you have no business with anger when you're in politics anger, anger that is, is the anger truth. is a reaction i know when but you are beaten you but you can enough. train yourselves to, to that you laugh when they because are, when you are you. angry maybe their intention is to make you angry yeah but you see why the moment you beat me there will be a natural reaction and i can't mm. control it either i will cry or i'll be angry I, but, but, I'm but, giving but, advice, so yeah, you can but take the advice it. you give, Lydia. So mm. stop beating us, then we will not be angry. 
don't don't you're also giving don't advice continue engaging yes, I, am, I am advising Lydia go and tell the state <laughs> stop torturing you are sending me okay I'm going to but, but uh, you're, you're, we're going to have uh, Lewis here and then I am going to you know I, I, I also I have some senior police friends who are police officers who are my friends I want to talk to them in Nichigo you have uh, those conversations no those ones we no not really but in Chico we have good security but these senior people uh, I want to how can like was it three girls disturb you and then you want to close the road and you want to pinch them and these are just the, and these are the things you deal with in your family at home and know the children and you manage them no there must be drama oh they, they must cause so caused by the drama. police I remember you you just hold her hand and take her away they must be seen to be after worked after 20, ah. 2011 election when mm. we were in work to work they used to give Kaihura 60 billion per week they are calling it political disturbances so these policemen will, will stage drama, especially the senior ones, hmm. to show that there is accountability. The, yeah, there is so much. You threat. show you are pinching a girl. Yes, against the state. Instead of holding her hand and taking yeah. her away. You know, Louis Rongoya, conclusion. Yeah, well, I actually wanted to talk about that. That uh, you know, one, it seems that these people get benefit from that. They that's why they have to author fake intelligence reports, trying to show that. I'm sure for our, our, our president's visit to Chira, they probably said he was planning a massive demonstration or something like that, even when he had just gone for, to a private home. So it's unfortunate, but you can see the three topics we've discussed all relate to one problem, governance. You see, the two problems we talked about, the LDC, uh, the interns, this explains it that General Seven would rather put all the money to try and contain any kind of opposition, to try and make sure that uh, he retains power in every way possible while the people continue to suffer and all that and I want to point out that you know again related to what we are discussing recently we've been having diaspora engagements and Oscar if you go to you know Canada you go to UAE these countries uh, Saudi Arabia Qatar and, and all that you feel like crying seeing the cream of the cream of Uganda leaving the country because of lack of opportunity and the challenges here I mean, you go to those places and wonder who will build our country. You go and see the doctors there, the engineers. You, you know, it's, a, it's as if we are training people just to send them uh, abroad. So it's a real, real, real crisis. Mm -hmm. crisis. People shouldn't just see it as a small issue. It's a crisis. And so what we need to tackle, what we need to confront is a question of governance. Okay. In this country. But you also uh, need the principle of opposition. Uh, Please, you also sort your house.